Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the 11th layout using the January hip kit and I am like really down to my scraps and so again uh, in my iris container I kind of divided all the ephemera package that came from Heidi Swap and there was a lot of green pieces and we had no green papers that came in the kit but what I decided to do was use that um, Amy Tangerine from the stitch line the craft one as the background and that came in the kit and then I went into my stash and I found a green pattern paper and I kind of brought it up there and and to show what the branding strip was and I missed it because I was looking down and so that's the only thing that I'm going to use uh no it's not I was going to say that's the only thing that I use that is not from the kit but what I did was I also brought in some ephemera from the October kit from hip kit uh, the pattern paper was totally from my stash and again because there was nothing green in the light in you know in the pattern papers I really wanted to get um, some green pattern papers to kind of bring out the you know the accents and the embellishments that I was going to use and then I also pulled in from my stash some green cardstock and that might have been from our previous hip kit because what I do is I um, whatever I always get the cardstock because I like that there's a lot of um, earthy colors in the cardstock package plus I like that there's two vellum pieces and for me to get vellum it's it's almost I wouldn't say impossible but uh, one of the only places that I can get vellum well there's two places there's Simon Says Stamps that I, I saw vellum but you had to get it in a 50 package I believe and it was expensive it was like $40 or something like that and it was like I don't need that many vellum at one time and then I can also get it from Studio Calico but for it to be worth it for me I have to get a hundred dollar order and half the time it's not in stock so uh, this way I use the cardstock that comes every month maybe I don't use all 10 pieces but I just bring it forward to the next month and eventually I just keep it with my hip kits and eventually I do use it and then I don't have to go through you know my stash and everything and try to get some cardstock because I am starting to pack up my craft room and a lot of people you know said well wouldn't that be your last place to pack but I just have so much stuff to pack that it, it's going to feel overwhelming to me so if I do it in little bits and pieces then it's not as overwhelming and then I won't feel like if I pack my cardstock as long and I, and I know that I'm going to get 10 pieces a month to to work plus getting my kits every month then I know that I'm going to have enough to scrap and I feel good about packing all that extra stuff that I have and I, I'm not packing my tools and everything I'm just packing like pattern papers and cardstock and you know um, collections that I had bought and it's only for you know a few months maybe six or seven and then uh, once I unpack it then it'll be like new stuff right so just to answer because I, I did get quite a few questions saying what you're, you know you're packing wouldn't that be the last thing you would pack and yes um, you know and like my letter stickers I'm not gonna pack those till the very last minute but um, I do have quite a bit a big stash so it's okay to get most of it packed up and then keep what I use in kits and then I'll still have tons to you know ton to scrapbook until I can unpack it again so now that I cut down that that piece of pattern paper I mounted the photo on green and black and it makes really the photos pop and it's pictures of my dog and I'll get into it a little bit more in a little bit here and then like I said there was a ton of die cuts that came in this month's kit that was green so I just kind of had pulled all those together in my iris container and then I was like okay I, I want to use this up and um, 
So what can I do to use it up? And I decided to do a picture of my dogs um, on February 12th. We took them and got them groomed. And it wasn't the first time for Biscuit, uh, which is the Shih Tzu. And, but it was the first time for Ace. And I don't know why, but it never occurred to me to get the Golden Doodle groomed. And he needed it. Oh my goodness. I mean, I we loved his crazy hairdo. But the reason I got the Golden Doodle was because they said they didn't shed. And oh my goodness, he shed. It was worse than the Golden Retriever. Like, it made me you know, almost wish that we just would have gotten a golden retriever because at least a golden retriever fur or hair or whatever didn't stick to your clothes. This golden doodle, golden doodle hair, it was just all over our clothes. Like every time we want to go somewhere, we had to take, you know, one of those brushes and brush our hair and my uniform and my son's uniform, you know, before he go to work and oh my goodness. So my daughter was here one day and she goes well just get him groomed mom and I said well isn't he gonna look like really you know stupid <laughs> she said no it's really cute and she showed me a picture of a golden doodle that was groomed on the internet and what I did was I just saved it when we brought it to the groomer I said this is what I want and I have to say the first time we saw him we laughed he looks so different and even my husband walked in to the groomer and he was like Okay, I see Biscuit, but you know, where's Ace? And um, that's how different he looked. And my son, when he got home from school, he kind of knew we were bringing him to the groomer that day, but kind of forgot, you know. So when he walked in the door, he was bent over in half laughing because he looked so different. But then he thought he was really cute. And he's enjoying not the so much of the hair. And I think it sort of calmed him down too. And I don't know if it's because his hair was really long. It was like three or four inches long, like, like really poofy. And I think the movement of his hair was getting him like maybe it was, I don't know, like scaring him or whatever. And he was just like really hyper. So it calmed him down somewhat. He was still a little hyper. And then a week later on February 19th, we, um, got him fixed because he was starting to like go on the road and stuff and he wasn't doing that before but he was so hyper he was just running all over the place and running on the road and my my son which was kind of like oh that's so pitiful you know to do that he says mom I think it's time because he's going to get hit by a car so a week later we got him fixed and um it it has calmed him down <laughs> quite a bit between the two um He's still a little hyper, but now you can kind of get him to simmer down and, you know, actually pet him and he'll lay down at your feet where before he would just like jump on you and just lick you to death. And he was just really quite hyper. So it has calmed him down quite a bit. So we're really happy about that. So I, how many, I did three I guess three main cluster, but two of them, the one at the top and the to the right side, they kind of eventually kind of almost touch. And I used two uh, pieces that came in the kit and they're the Amy Tangerine wood frames. They look like inst Insta picks, and I love those. And I love using them and sometimes putting pattern paper in behind and this one one of them I had put an acetate sheet and I had done this for a previous page and I didn't use it but this time I used it on this page and then I make kind of a little cluster in there and I just add some different die cut pieces that came from like I said I brought in some pieces from the Maggie Holmes die cut pack from October and then a lot of them are from the Heidi Swap uh, ephemera pack that came in this month's kit. And I think it had 102 pieces. And um, I'm down. I think I have four pieces left. And I'm going to try and use it on this next layout. It doesn't match, coordinate with the colors that come in this kit. But I think I'm just going to paint over it and just make it 
so that it matches because I do not want to bring, I don't want to bring four pieces forward. Not going to happen. I just want to get them used on this layout. And again, it was a color that um, wasn't dominant in this kit, but with four pieces of ephemera, uh, there's no way that I could get a page done. So I'm just going to make it so that it fits with my last page. So I'm going to get 14 layouts done with this kit, which is amazing. I feel like, you know, that is really getting my money's worth. And I love that. I did get in my February kit, so I'm going to do um, sort of, a, you know, what I got in my February kit. And then um, I had said that I was going to show you, like, once I put the pattern paper together and then my next step is pulling pictures and then I start dividing the die cuts and ephemera from the, the whole kit. So I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do the haul video today. I got my kit very very late last week it was on Thursday so that was um, I don't know the 19th I believe and um, I just haven't had a, a chance to to do the video but I'm gonna do that today and I'm gonna get a few video up uh, this week I'm hoping and oh this is the last die cut that came from the dear Lizzie the watercolor ones and I used um, the Heidi Swap Color Shine to color that in. And it's the Citron, I believe, and it's in the green. And I just colored it here and there. I didn't fully color it so that you still have some white so that it, you know, still pops uh, off the page. This Hello um, Wood Veneer was the one of my last pieces that were left from the December kit. That I didn't use and I, I I think I had four pieces left not of wood veneer but four pieces left of die cuts I guess or ephemera or embellishments from December and I pull them forward to January to try to use them up and I think I have them just about all used up with this kit so instead of throwing them in my stash I just throw them in this little bowl on my desk and then every time I do a page, I kind of see, mm, is there anything in there that I could use up? And where there's not a lot, you know, it's really easy to just go through them and try to use them up in the next kit. Because the last thing I want to do is just put it in my stash and then, you know, five years later, it's still there. So if I can't do it with, you know, killing the kit as I'm doing the layouts, I just pull put it on my desk really close and then try to, to use it. And what I like to do with these um, acetates too is if it doesn't work in the way it is, I just cut them apart and then use them that way. Like honestly, it said something else. So, and uh, so I just put all different words on this layout. I put, you know, every day, which was an acetate. Hello. Here, all that is good is because of you. Honestly, be brave and wild because, you know, he is kind of wild. And um, he didn't know what to think of the groomer. He was um, kind of nervous, but she said he did really good. She said both dogs were, you know, really well uh, mannered and really sweet like they you know they're not vicious in any way and she said she got ace in the bath and she had to go get her boyfriend to get her get get him out because he didn't want to get, get out he loved the bath so much so she couldn't get him out and uh, so he really enjoyed the bath and stuff when he was littler Josh used to give him a bath all the time but now that he's bigger he's a little hard to get in the tub and out so He's unable to do it. So I think he's missing the bath. I had some little hearts that came from uh, the twine and ink. And that was from a project life from Studio Calico. And I, as I'm packing, I'm looking at a bunch of stuff and I'm pulling stuff that I really want to use now. So it's getting me to use some of my stash too. Now I'm using 
a pen and I'm just outlining the hello love uh, on some places on the layout and my battery no my camera was full my iPhone was full so the video cut out so now you're seeing some close-ups of the layout and that's it the page is done so if you're enjoying these videos if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up just to let YouTube know thanks for watching bye